فجرا جئت بعد العسر يسرا ربنا على يا امام الانبياء Good morning everybody. It is currently 4:21 a.m. and it's time to wake up. Okay, so we're on my phone today cuz I don't feel like vlogging on my camera, but since we are we have 1 hour and 30 minutes before Fajr, we're first going to pray the Hajjud. <laughs> Sadly, I cannot have freshly brewed tea because my tea has kind of expired, but we're just going to be working with this. I can't open it single-handedly. <laughs> I always first have one cup of tea and then I drink like two cups of water. So we're going to follow the routine. Ya Nabi, salam alayka Ya Rasul, salam alayka Okay, so honestly, I never have any pastry drinks before because it's too sweet and obviously like I'm gonna need more water However, I've been craving pink chocolate for so long and I know pr I'm pronouncing it wrong So we have some pink chocolate from Regal So I'm gonna first eat my pink chocolate and drink my tea and then we'll have our eggs <laughs> and some fruit Okay guys, so I was rewatching one of my favorite shows, however, it finished, so I had to find like a show to rewatch just because I can't fall asleep to like no noise. So here we are. A lot of people might know this show. It's San Chalcopuma. I don't know where I was when I fell asleep. Honestly, I fell asleep pretty quickly. So yeah, it's like my iPad just works the entire night uh, up until the episode, so yeah, that's interesting. I, I do remember this when I was falling asleep. There you go. This is good. I don't know why I'm sharing everything I ate during Sukhor, but I guess this video is actually everything I ate in Sukhor. Um, but we have some grapes. I always like put them in the container and clean them and because it's just easier. Like when I wake up, it is so much easier and I'm not going to procrastinate on eating grapes because one it's fruit it's good like source of um water and hydration they're very sweet and they're just so nice and i love anything sweet i love fruits also vlogging on my phone is so weird but also so nice why can't i open this okay i can there you go we have grapes yeah she's also i'm so sorry if you're watching this during fasting this is not good Okay guys, so I usually spend around an hour on reading Quran after Fajr. However, today's an exam day, so I think I'm only gonna spend around like 30 to 40 minutes. Um, yeah, I have, like, yesterday I did not read enough Quran, like, I only read, like, three pages. I read very slowly because I read and annotate, so it takes me a very while, to be completely honest. But, yeah, I am, I, no one is interested in this, but I'm currently reading the 24th surah, it's called An Anmur, um, which means light. <laughs> and, yeah, no one asked for this, but I'm on Ayah 30 right now, so let's see how far... We can get um i'll try to like read and annotate three pages now but yeah Okay guys, so since it's been like 35 minutes, I'm gonna start studying, which I'm not looking forward to. I don't feel like studying right now. I feel like especially when it comes to like preparing for exams, if I will study, I know that I will start feeling anxious. So my brain is instantly like, you know what, let's just watch YouTube just because, you know, when you're um, doing something else, you're not gonna like be consciously thinking about it. But like, and my bed looks so nice right now, you know, and I really want to sleep. Actually, I don't want to sleep. I just want to lay down. But if I lay down, I will fall asleep. And um, I think I'll just revise a bit and then I'll lay down and let my, my body rest. Because I feel like even when, you know, I'll wake up, my brain is functioning like i'm good it's like i can wake up i feel like my body is asleep and my body will just be very tired so we're gonna go to quizlet we're gonna study with our flashcards and 
kind of not prepared for the exam to be honest and this is my first time ever fasting during an exam because last year i started only fasting last year when i was 17 and um i didn't have any exams last year during ramadan so we're gonna see how it goes <laughs> Okay guys, so it's currently 9.20 and I actually did fall asleep and I woke up at around like 8.40 a.m. But I've just been revising my flashcards ever since I'm just literally pacing around and talking to myself about different concepts like Gadamer's authority, Gadamer's tradition, Spinoza's free will. I am kind of going crazy, but I think I feel like I remember everything just takes time. Like I'll read the question and then I'll have to sit down for like a few minutes just contemplating about the answer and then reading the answer. It's going to be a multiple choice, like 80% of it is going to be a multiple choice, but then there are two extended questions that we have to fill out ourselves, which is kind of easier in a way that, you know, I can just say whatever I know rather than being face-to-face uh, -face with the content that I don't know. However, um, I will have to have a good diction. I feel like when I'm trying to explain anything that comes to content from philosophy of the humanities, I'm using such conversational diction just to be able to explain to myself and remember but during the exam I'll actually have to articulate myself very well so we're gonna see how that goes and I'm just gonna pace around for a little more I actually shouldn't be speaking so much out loud because obviously like I can't drink water so my throat gets dry but this is kind of the way to study right now so <laughs> So I just ironed the shirt that I'm going to be wearing. I'm going to wear a hoodie on top, but just in case it gets hot, I'll, you know, I'll have my t-shirt. So I'm literally just wearing sweatpants and a NASA black shirt because I couldn't be bothered for the exam. Bika is coming over because she's a bit early. Uh, we're just going to sit on the couch in the common area and revise. This is the view that I have right now. There's like work going on outside. Yeah. As you guys can tell, it's very windy, but it is sunny. We have one station to go, and then we're gonna walk for like 15 minutes, I think. We've been in that place before, so that's a bit calming. So, yeah, am I even recording? I don't know. No, I get it. There's action mode, so we're good. So now I'm filming. Because they don't have the today's exam. Hey guys, we're doing the walk to the exam center. The walk of shame. <laughs> the walk of shame. But oh my god, there's so many people. Because it's not like only the media students take, like taking the exams. Other students do so like there's so many people. Especially in the metro, like all of your like, you know, with your backpacks and with notes. And everyone's Show doing a very collective books. experience. Show them the books. Ugly. That's that's not the building. Oh, that's the building. It's it's like a few of them because like there's a lot. Zaina is also here, we're finally done with the exam and we're going to the metro station right now. Um, the last, we had like a, a closed questions and also open questions and the open <laughs> questions and the last question, and none of us knew the answer because it was, if you know the Plato's Allegory of the Cave, the question was to refer to the actual name of the entirety of the work. I did not know that. I did not know that. I just showed the Allegory of the Cave. I couldn't be bothered, honestly. But it's successful, like, you know, we finished. Could have been bad, so uh, <laughs> now we're going to Metro. Okay, guys, so I'm back home. As you can tell, I'm so happy it's over. So now I finally have the well deserved time to read the Quran. <laughs> we're done with the exam, we can read the Quran. But before reading the Quran. Um, there's a new episode of Jannah series, which are like this year, 
uh, Ramadan series on Yagin Institute. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I've been loving it. It's episode six since it's Ramadan day six. Actually, no, isn't it day? F- it's day five, but the episode is six. So uh, they come out every day of Ramadan, which I am loving the series. Honestly, learning more about paradise in Islam and etc. And I also um so this is by well with. Dr. Omar Suleiman, and I really love how he phrases everything and the way he conveys his message. So, it's very interesting. However, my YouTube is not loading because my Wi Fi has not been working. As you can tell, it is here the 10 deeds that build houses in Jannah. But I, okay, wow, we can watch it now, guys. See, it's just not working, like, it's taking so long. Why am I shaking the camera so much? So maybe we really should read the crown first and then watch it. While building an entire masjid is impossible for most, even a small spot of a masjid here can turn out as a palace for you there in Jannah. 